From sunrise to sunset, some 1.6 billion Muslims across the world are observing Ramadan, which is the holy month of fasting for the believers of Islam. Uh, only a small proportion of Muslims live in Korea currently, but uh, the numbers are growing. And uh, for more on this special holiday for Muslims, we have Connie Lee joining us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, like you said, of officially Ramadan started last night, and today is the first full day of fasting for the devout. Now, the Muslims all around the world, which accounts for about 23% of the world's population, go through Ramadan without eating or drinking from sunrise to sunset for a month and it is a time of increased devotion and worship. Mm -hmm. So how big is the Muslim population in Korea are we talking about? Well 135,000 uh, Muslims in Korea right now which mm -hmm. includes foreigners and Koreans. Now Korean Muslims alone account for 35,000. Now although the Muslims here in Korea do face some unique challenges, they say they don't wish to be seen as different. Here's a closer look. Kim Jin Soon is having one of his last lunchtime meals for the next month. On the day before Ramadan, the holy month of fasting, he introduced me to a dish of rice, lamb, and salad, his favorite halal meal when dining out in Seoul. It's been three years since Jin Soon stopped eating pork after he converted to Islam. He's just one of the 35,000 Korean Muslims living in Korea. Personally, not eating pork or drinking alcohol was difficult at first. Eating pork and drinking alcohol is such a normal practice after hours here in Korea, but I can't have either one. So when I go out with friends, people have to eat something else or change locations because of me. The 20-year-old first studied Islam out of curiosity in high school and then became a devout Muslim himself, reading the Quran almost on a daily basis. He's back in his hometown in Korea now for summer break, but he currently attends university in Saudi Arabia, where he studies Arabic and Islamic culture. It was hard to get my high school friends and family to understand Islam. I lost a lot of my high school friends. They didn't say that they didn't want to be friends with a Muslim, but once they found out about my religion, they distanced themselves from me. But for other Korean Muslims, Jin Soon's hardships are not unfamiliar. There are a lot of clashes between Korean culture and Islamic culture, a lot of misunderstandings. I remember that my family got upset when I first told them that I couldn't participate in the ancestral memorial service that Koreans hold, because my Islamic beliefs don't allow me to bow before anyone but Allah. At the mosque, though, both Korean Muslims and foreign believers alike feel at home and at peace. And even when it's not Ramadan, Jin Soon comes to the Seoul Central Mosque at least twice a week for the services. He joins the others in washing his hands and feet before entering the temple. There are about a dozen people in attendance for this one afternoon service. But those numbers are expected to soar once Ramadan officially starts. The Seoul Central Mosque is the main mosque in Korea, so we always expect many people for the Ramadan period. On weekdays, we expect around 300 people in the evenings for iftar, or the fast-breaking meal. And on weekends, we expect 500 to 600 people. More people may come this year because this Ramadan falls during the peak vacation season. The Seoul Central Mosque is the first mosque or masjid in Korea, and Muslims have been gathering here since 1976. Since then, about 10 other mosques have been built, and there are currently 11 total nationwide. This is my third Ramadan in Korea since I moved here from Turkey. Although there aren't as many mosques or halal food options here, I think Muslims in Korea can live more comfortably than in other non-Islamic countries. Muslims can go to the different shops and marts here in Itaewon in Seoul and to different mosques around the country. Even though fasting during Ramadan is not easy, Jin Soon says that he still looks forward to the season. I'm so excited for Ramadan. It might seem weird that I would look forward to this time when there is fasting involved, but it makes me happy to think that other Muslims around the world and I are fasting and praying together. It's also a time when our blessings multiply, so Ramadan is very meaningful to me.
힘든 것도 느끼지 못하고 진짜 설레거든요. Now, Ramadan is the ninth month on the Islamic calendar, and the start date of this annual tradition differs each year because it goes along with the lunar calendar. But every year, Ramadan lasts for 29 to 30 days, and this year it will come to an end on August 7th. Mm, Islam is the second largest religion in the world yes. following Christianity, but here in Korea, Buddhism and Christianity are the two prevailing religions now. So I'm, I'm quite surprised to see a, quite a sizable number of Muslims here in Korea. Did you, were you able to find out some of the reasons that they turned to Islam? Right. A lot of them have, of course, different reasons of how they were first introduced to Islam. Uh, many of them I talked to, they first studied it on their own out of curiosity, either from hearing about Islam in the media and, of course, about the religious wars in the Middle East. But after studying the religion itself, they say they realize that Islam is not about violence or war, but it's more about peace. And after studying it, they um, have peace and joy themselves. And they also had influence from friends who are from Islamic countries. Mm -hmm. Now, the Muslim population, actually, this is interesting, um, it has been steadily increasing in Korea since the Korean War ended in the 1950s. Now, the um, Islam first came from Turkey because the Turkey, Turkish troops came to Korea to aid the Korean troops during the war and after it for humanitarian work. And then there was a drastic increase of Muslims in Korea in the 1970s as many Korean companies like construction firms actually opened plants in the Middle Eastern countries. Now, many Korean workers there converted to Islam and then moved back to Korea, bringing their uh, new religion with them. Mm. And also domestic Korean companies all started to hire more foreign workers from those Middle Eastern countries. Mm -hmm. Interesting. For, right, right. For a lot of Koreans though, it must have been difficult to learn more about the religion and the fasting can't be easy either. Right, definitely not. I mean, the Muslims go through the fasting each day from sunrise to sunset, but after sunset they um, actually hold an iftar, or which is the last uh, the break fasting meal and the uh, Muslims say that Ramadan is actually a very festive and joyful period because a lot of families and friends gather together in their homes or in very large spaces. So at the mosque that I went to in Seoul, um, they actually have the outside uh, space kind of uh, quarantined for this iftar uh, festivity. And so all of these people will be gathering under a large tent um, each day until the end of Ramadan. Mm. So at the iftar festivities, uh, there must be a lot of good food to eat um, right. after sunset, of course. Now this opens a new niche market. Are some Korean companies getting on the bandwagon here. You're absolutely right. There are a lot of Korean companies actually launching certain products uh, targeting these Islamic countries. Now, just yesterday, CJ Food Field's Bibigo restaurant has um, just revealed that they will be offering fusion Korean and halal food during this Ramadan period. Now, the iftar dishes include uh, different um, hot stone karbi, char grilled bulgogi. Wow. So a lot of influences from <laughs> the Middle Eastern countries, right. And they say they'll also be using a lot of um, Korean traditional spices and sauces on mm. these dishes. Anything but pork, right? Mm -hmm. Right, anything but pork. Mm. And also Nongshim, which is a very popular uh, ramen noodle company in Korea, they said that they've produced halal ramen noodles at its factory in Busan, which is in southern Korea. Now they're using soybean soup instead of the usual beef soup. Um, and the halal ramen noodles have been exported to 12 Islamic countries so far, uh, just in time for this Ramadan period. Mm -hmm. Now both companies say that they have increased food production, actually, because they realize that there's a lot of eating going on during this Ramadan season. And the number of exports have also increased uh, just in time for Ramadan. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen uh, uh, that ramen product yet in my local market, but I am mm. very much looking forward to getting my hands on that one. It mm. sounds and rather healthy. Even right, right? Soybean soup. Right. Yeah. Even <laughs> non-believers of Islam can take part in Ramadan, I right. hear. Right. So great. All right, well, thank, thank you, Gandhi, for, for that. Thank you.